Hey everybody, Ryan from Seymour Carnage Photography back with another installment of Camera Carnage and today we're going to be throwing you a curve ball on a very unique lighting modifier that's going to save you a whole bunch of money. So we all know that reflectors are essential tools for lifting shadows and shaping light when you're taking things like portraits. But sometimes maybe you want the kind of look that only a curved reflector can give you. Curved reflectors, aka eye lighters, trademark Westcott, give you a curved catch light in the underside of the eye as well as a nice soft even lighting underneath the chin and on the neck. The catch is, these kinds of reflectors will run you anywhere from $70 to $200 on the market. But today we're going to show you how to cobble one together for about $15. Now commercially available curved reflectors are about 70 inches wide and 24 inches deep. For the sake of cost and logistics, ours is going to be a little bit smaller. As usual with my builds, you're going to need a basic light stand and an angle adjustable spring loaded clamp in order to make the most of this because the angle and the position of a curved reflector is very critical to get the catch lights that we're talking about. Having your model hold it underneath them like you can do with a basic flat reflector just isn't going to work in this case. So what are we going to need for this build? Well, we need two sheets of white poster board and a roll of tape from the dollar store and we're going to need a reusable flexible combat splint from Amazon. Total damages on these parts should run you about $15. If you want to spend an extra couple bucks at the dollar store, get two more sheets of poster board, a roll of aluminum foil, and some spray glue or double-sided tape, and you can make a second silver reflector to go along with your white one. Alright, so let's get building. Take the two pieces of poster board and overlap them so you've got about 48 inches wide by 22 inches tall and just tape those two sheets together along the seam. Next, take your combat splint. You're going to unroll that and then fold it in half along the long edge. You're going to center that up into the spring clamp on your light stand, bend it into a gentle curve, and then simply lay the poster board down in the middle of it and put some tape on either end to make sure it stays put. Bang, that's it, you're done. It's easy for you to bend that splint once it's in the clamp to adjust the curve if you need to, and you've got the angle adjustability in the clamp so you can find the right placement. To put this setup to the test, I decided to use it to take my new headshot. And I love practicing when I preach here on the channel, so I used a bunch of my own tricks in lighting setup for this photo. I used a black foam core backdrop off the broomstick boom. I used my DIY wireless remote. And I used a couple of my DIY mini light stands to hold one of the flashes and to hold my off-camera tablet display. I also went with very budget lighting. So I'm using one speed light with a basic 33 inch shoot through umbrella and a second bare flash for separation light. So let's check out the final shot. I'm really impressed with how this turned out. The lower catch lights and the eyes look almost identical to the example photo that I put up from Jim Schmelzer, especially considering that he is using a $200 Westcott silver reflector and a high power, high budget beauty dish and strobe. So here's a couple comparison shots that I took. One without a reflector at all, and another one with me just holding a flat piece of foam core at chest level. You can see there's not much difference in the quality of light underneath my chin and on my neck between the curved reflector and the flat reflector, but those curved catch lights in the eyes make all the difference. So as you can see, our $15 curved reflector is simple to build and delivers professional results. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Ryan from Seymour Carnage Photography. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will try to get back to them as soon as possible. And please be sure to like and subscribe to be notified of my future content. Until then, take care.